Hi, first graders. It's that time again. Press pause and go get your literature anthology book. Wow, we are on Unit 5, Week 2. This week's story's title, Kitten's First Full Moon. Once you have your book, open it up, turn to page 162. This week's story's genre is a fantasy. Remember, genre is just a fancy smancy word for a certain type of book. And a fantasy story has facts and characters that are imaginary. It has events that cannot happen in real life. It's make-believe. And it often has talking animals or animals behaving like humans. This week's essential question asks, what can you see in the sky? We're gonna read about a kitten who thinks the moon is a bowl of milk. All right, get out your reading fingers. And as I read, I want you to follow along in your anthology. Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hankus. It was Kitten's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky, and she wanted it. So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor Kitten. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom and sprang from the top step of the porch. But Kitten only tumbled, bumping her nose and banging her ear and pinching her tail. Poor kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she ran to the tallest tree she could find and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. But kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk. And now she was scared. Poor kitten, what could she do? Then in the pond, kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night. So she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond. She leaped with all her might. Poor kitten. She was wet and sad and tired and hungry. So she went back home. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch. Just waiting for her. Lucky kitten. Okay, you can go back and reread the story or finish listening to the directions of your activity. We are going to do some 
cause and effect. The most important thing about reading is understanding. We can use strategies to help us understand. The strategy we are going to focus on today is cause and effect. Now, a cause is why something happens. An effect is what happened. All right, let's take a closer look with cause and effect on this page. It says, poor kitten, she was wet and sad and tired and hungry. Well, you have to ask yourself, what happened to make her wet and sad and tired and hungry? Well, let's think about the cause and the effect. The cause is that kitten leaps into the pond. What was the effect? Well, kitten gets wet She's sad, she's tired, and hungry. You get it? The cause is why something happens. The effect is what happened. Well, what happened was, kitten, she was all wet. Well, what caused her? Why did she, why did that happen? Why did she get wet? The cause was that kitten leaped into the pond. All right, now it's your turn to show me what you've learned. If you need to go back and reread the story, do that because you have some facts to unscramble on your next part of this activity. Have fun, first graders.